This is another one of my passions, steam engines, but uh, we're not here for that. Um, so today's project is going to be uh, a 3D cut in some pine planking um, that's approximately a foot in diameter uh, and 600 long, although the, I think the picture is it's going to be about, uh, about 500 long. And it's actually, uh, I'm cutting the, the 3D design inside um, a board, or sort of an oval border. So the frame is going to be cut with the design on the inside. Uh, and the design is um, something quite, I suppose, akin to the country, which is um, uh, it's a, it's a branch of a tree with leaves and uh, there's a family of birds uh, in the tree and it's um, it's quite nice uh, and I think it would look very nice on anybody's wall so um, we're going to cut it with three uh, different types of tool um, this time I'm going to do a roughing cut with a 12 millimeter three flute end mill um, that will remove the material quite quickly but you've got to be very careful with it because if you run the machine too fast it tends to splinter away some of the, the waste wood and uh, as it splinters it can, what it can sometimes do is um, rip off a piece of material that uh, is going to be part of your design so you've got to be very careful doing it uh, you, you sort of got to get the, um, the feed just right. Um, and it's only through experience that uh, you know you get to know these things. So first of all is going to be the 12 mil. Then we're going to put a 6 mil ball mill through. And then a finishing cut with the 3 mil ball mill end mill. So here we go. So what I'm going to do now is alter the jog set into half a mil um, per pulse of this. You can actually feel this. It has like a, a pulse that uh, you, you can individually put over. There, there. So each pulse of this is moving X, Y and Z uh, half a millimeter. Okay, we've got a very pointy tool in there to. Um... Now, what I want to be is about a millimeter, millimeter and a half inside of this edge because uh, this is slightly uh, larger material than what I actually want for the picture. So, I'm going to set the X Y coordinate now which is simply done by these three buttons here set X 0 if you just watch the screen so this is the work offset sorry this is the work offset this is the machine coordinate so there we are we've set the um, the X 0 Y0 has been set now, and it's actually changed on the screen as well, as you would expect. So now we're going to lift it up. And I'm going to change the tool, and uh, we're going to zero the 12 millimeter.
this incidentally is an engraving tool but I use it uh, to get a very precise accurate uh, reading for the zero position and now this is the collet that holds it this is actually a six millimeter collet and this is a six millimeter to three millimeter reducing sleeve which I, I like to use always get a bit of wood dust caught up in those so we're putting a much bigger tool in now Nearly, nearly the largest diameter tool we can fit. Uh, this is a, a 12 millimeter three flute, okay, end mill, and this is a 12 millimeter collet. So what you do, you put the collet, you know, collet in there first, and then push that in. So it's nearly all the way through the collet. See it's nearly all the way through? That's the correct way, so you get the maximum grip then. And then put it in. Now you don't have to do the you have to do these up firm, but you don't have to really jam them up tight. So it's just that. That's all it is. Okay, so now our machine is all set up with the 12mm cutter uh, and you can, you can detect there, there's our zero, 0 point which is in relationship, which is, which is in the same relationship as where the tool is uh, over the piece of work. So now what we'll do is start the spindle up and um, set the speed and press go and uh, we'll do the, the roughing cut. another interesting thing about uh, operating NC Studio. Um, you see the cursor here. If you have it on this screen and you, you click onto this blue screen area, um, this area here becomes a lighter shade of blue which means it's not in operation now. So you, you can't actually jog but what does happen is the, the arrow keys here um, actually move the, the, the screen around as I'll demonstrate so you can actually move the screen around on the keyboard might uh, you might think it useful and of course if you click in the blue area here it now switches to the uh, jog mode and the machine will 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 operate. So I just thought I'd show you that something interesting. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you with NC Studio is actually altering, uh, zooming out or zooming in of the screen. So you click on the screen area. It actually uh, enlarges, enla zooms in. Uh, if you press the num and minus, it will zoom out 
or num, numlock and plus, it will zoom in. And of course, then you can move move it move the uh, screen around using the these arrow keys here. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I've actually changed to a six millimeter ball mill, uh, and now I'm going to um, touch off or zero the six millimeter tool on this piece here, this area here. Uh, which gives me the new Z height of the 6mm tool. So you see this now is a very untidy, ragged looking uh, piece of work now. This is the result of a uh, very, shall we say, vicious 12mm um, end mill uh, removing a lot of the waste material. Uh, well, you need to be very careful uh, doing this because sometimes it can splinter out material like this and bigger which will splinter right into an area that you want to keep uh, which will pretty well destroy your whole work. So uh, you need to keep the feed rate down um, and just hope for the best, I suppose. So you can just about tell that there's a, a bird here and there's a bird behind it as well. There's a couple of smaller birds here in a bit of a tree. It still looks a bit messy but that's a result of the 6mm ball mill. Um, so I've just replaced that with the 3mm ball mill and I've already zeroed it and we'll see now what sort of a job the three mil ball mill makes of this.
comes off the machine. So now what we need to do is hand finish this. And now I'm going to use this bandsaw to snip off these these ends and take a bit of this waste material off. Uh, then I'm going to use a jigsaw to closely follow this edge around. Um, and then we're going to rub it all down by hand around the outside and the inside edge here. Um, and then we're going to get um, a small Dremel and just take a little bit of the uh, furriness off where, it's, where, it, where it is, which uh, it's not too bad actually, just a couple of these little areas. And um, then we'll probably varnish it. So let's see how... today of making this um, bird scene uh, on a plaque didn't turn out too bad when it comes off the machine uh, it does require sometimes a bit of um, hand um, cleaning up as you just saw um, but really it's uh, very minimal and uh, it turns out a relatively nice piece so um, I hope you've enjoyed the video today and if you have please press like subscribe to my channel that's a really good thing to do um, little little red box down in the bottom corner there that will take you straight to my YouTube channel um, where you'll find CNC routing um, and the programs associated with that at cam Mac 3 NC studio um, I also do a fair bit of wood turning and uh, furniture making, shop jobs, and I think there's something there for everyone. Um, now, the next video coming up, uh, I'm going to do something really different. Um, I'm going to show you uh, another type of machining with a CNC router. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to make um, a rather nice child's toy it's about oh about yay big yay high and it's a, a Land Rover Defender so um, I think you'll you'll like it and um, I know the kids like them so so um, and if you if you know if you request me to I will show you how to um, actually make a, a drawing in art cam 
uh, of the uh, Land Rover Defender from a photograph and um, how to tool pass for the CNC router to be able to make a toy like this or any type of vehicle really, any type of toy, CNC machine will do it. So thank you for watching and bye till next time. Bye.